If you see someone with a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, a Bugatti, do you spend much time looking at the actual person? Probably not. Most of us maybe are impressed with the car. Teenagers or college students probably think someday I want to have a Lamborghini like that. I want a Bugatti. I want that Porsche. I want that Ferrari. In the eighth chapter of his book, The Psychology of Money, Morgan Housel calls it man in the car paradox. And he says, no one's impressed with your possessions as much as you are. And he talks about when he was a valet at a really expensive hotel. And at first he thought it was so amazing because he got to park Ferraris and Lamborghinis and Rolls Royces. And he thought someday I want to be the guy who owns that. But the more he thought about it, he realized that he actually was seldom that impressed with the person who drove in in the car. He just wanted to be the guy who owned the car himself, as if he thought that someday that would bring him prestige and everyone would really admire and value him. But he realized he himself didn't necessarily value or admire these people if they weren't kind, if they were rude to him. He just wanted their vehicle. So oftentimes the things that we think bring prestige or fame really don't. Someone would be much more impressed if you were kind or humble or helped them out. In fact, he writes a letter to his son when his son is born. And one of the things Morgan Housel says in that letter, I think is really helpful. He says, you might think that you want an expensive car, a fancy watch and a huge house, but I'm telling you, you don't. What you want is respect and admiration from other people. And you think that having expensive stuff will bring it. It almost never does, especially from the people that you want to respect and admire you. So in this really short chapter about the man in the car, the paradox, he points out that those things that you think will earn you other people's admiration, very seldom do. Having the huge home, people might want the home that you have, but they probably don't really admire you that much based just on the home that you live in. So pursue the right kind of things and they're not the kind of things you buy with money.